Hello, this is Abel Parsons, Abe Sapien, with my day 100. Uh, yeah, my day 100 of the 100th challenge. <laughs> nice lens flare there. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is the 100th challenge started by Kevin Cross, where you spend at least 30 minutes a day working on your personal project. Sorry, I am a little bit distracted. I am driving. Uh, traversing many layers of traffic and road obstructions <laughs> anyways um, yeah so I finished my my day 100 and it's pretty awesome <laughs> so first off I want to thank a bunch of people if I can remember your name I will put it down if not it will be in the description um, so first off Kevin Cross because you know a lot of us kind of follow uh, a path that people have made um, and he said it too where he's he wasn't you know this wasn't like a super original idea he was doing something that someone else had done but he did it for comics and you know that just that blazed the path that you know a lot of people took up the torch and now I am one of those people who've graduated from that um, Mike Emirates, because I was watching him and his uh, post that he was doing. Uh, I forget which uh, what run he was doing, but he was doing his stuff for Space Cat. That might have been his uh, second or third run. I don't remember. Uh, I want to thank Mike for that and for uh, uh, being very vocal on on um, my my post and uh, <laughs> and the hangouts and. Uh, when I do get a chance to speak or throw my two cents in <laughs> uh, He's been very cool uh, very good guy um, uh, Gaz Gretzky is another one or Gazbot. Sorry if I outed your name <laughs> uh, You know, he's He's been awesome. I mean uh, I like <laughs> he's he doesn't hold back from what he is on, on the videos and stuff like that. Um, he just, he's just himself. So that's cool. Uh, like his artwork, like his comic. Uh, I'm going to have to save us some money and actually buy one instead of just trying to uh, glean what I could off of his videos and off the other different things. But a uh, very good guy too. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, I'm racking my brain. <laughs> I can't do it while I'm driving. Uh, I want to thank you uh, if you guys have commented on my my posts uh, at all or anywhere or whatever. Thank you guys. Uh, I'll probably have to <laughs> I'll have to backtrack and see who's who's been a uh, been an encouragement for me because that that's what helped me on some of the rough days. Uh, so, anyways. <laughs> Uh, and then one that is not part of the hundreds challenge, but uh, a couple people who have led me to this, which was, um, his name is Jeff Lafferty, um, which also combos with the next guy I'm going to say, but, um, I found him and his art casters, uh, and his personal videos, his personal vlogs on art and how he sells and does all these different things. And he's just, you know, talking to the the camera and he's just giving advice and talking about what he's doing and stuff like that and that was a big inspiration for me to move forward um, so there was like four or five things that, that happened and then you know I started talking to Mike uh, on Facebook and then um, I mean I should say texting Mike <laughs> messaging and um, so that's what made me jump into the challenge and then uh, the other person tied with uh, Jeff Lafferty is uh, Jason Brubaker because of the interview that uh, he had done with him or he had did with him or whatever, whatever English word that fits that better. <laughs> and uh, uh, that led me to find his stuff and his, uh, his Facebook group, the Un Un Unnatural Talent people. And to, to catch his live streams and all, all these different things. And I was watching how he was making his comic. And the different, uh, I guess, behind the scenes stuff that he would put out. Uh, same with uh, with Kevin and then uh, Scott Circlin. Um, 
which is kind of like that uh, whole uh, five degrees of Kevin Bacon thing because uh, he used to work with my best friend. So that was kind of cool. And so that, you know, led me to find his stuff. And uh, his stuff is really cool also, which means if I make a little bit of money, I'm buying some stuff. <laughs> Uh, which also jumps to, you know, any number of people, um, uh, Samurai Ox, you know, I would always hear them talk about him, but, uh, I would never, well, I didn't really look it up until, like, later on, and his stuff is cool, um, and then there's another thing with another live cast, or live stream, or however you say that, and then, um, Jan, uh, Jan and all. Uh, and then I started following his thing for his book and uh, he was very in-depth with how he was going about his process and everything like that and you know that that helped me kind of formulate what I was gonna do with mine so it's like all these people and all their different little things helped me along my path and uh, and there's <laughs> there's a ton of new people on this challenge and I was trying to follow as much as I could but then I got bogged down with uh, trying to keep my, my artwork going because a lot of stuff started happening. And then I was tripping out because uh, I thought I wasn't going to be able to do my 30 minutes because of what was going on with work and all these different things. But anyways, <laughs> uh, and this is just a small amount of the people that you know I've interacted with um, and found different things from different people. Uh, different uh, people on Facebook, different people on YouTube, and I'm finding all these different things. Uh, people on DeviantArt and um, uh, <laughs> for a little bit of, on Twitch, and uh, you know, and it trips me out how far reaching this goes. I mean, there's people on multiple continents, and you know, you, you're watching their stuff and different things like that and it inspires you and then and you in turn have them commenting on artwork or on different uh different social media platforms and stuff and that's that's super awesome but um yeah so that's <laughs> uh that's a, a short summary of, of what i've done and what's helped me to go forward um and i know i did some I think I did some tips and tricks yesterday. <laughs> uh, so I'll just run a couple through right now. Because um, I can't remember. <laughs> and, uh, anyways, it's... Uh, when you start this challenge, you got to know that it's going to be hard. It's not going to be that, that creative wave that you're on in the beginning. I mean, if you can keep it, awesome. Um, if not... You know, there's going to be times where it's going to it's going to hurt you because you want to do something so bad, but either you're listening to yourself and your doubts, and then you follow that instead of just saying, "Okay, I'll just draw something. I don't care what it is." So long as you showed something that you did for your your project. I mean, you could um, you could just draw armor. You could draw backgrounds. You could draw whatever. Um, so. And that's the other thing is, uh, the other tip is, when you do this challenge, you are everything. As crazy as that sounds, uh, you are everything. You are the writer, you are the editor, you are the drawer, you are the inker, you are the coder, you are the marketing team, you are the, you're the salesperson, <laughs> you are the boss. You are the boss that has to do everything. Um, but no help unless you look for it or uh, you know you can team up with somebody and to, and to do something and you know in the beginning I was like oh cool let's draw these characters and I'll make a comic and then I started making it and I'm like whoa I don't know how to draw this uh, I can't I can't really draw this either so what am I going to do so I had to look up stuff I had to I had to figure out things and then all of a sudden now it's oh i don't know how to draw in perspective uh this is kind of hard this is i what what do i do with this sorry it's shaking real bad <laughs> um 
a bunch of things like that and uh it's kind of hard to to prep people for that because you don't know you don't know until you're right there and then when you're right there that's the spot where your mind is like you can't do this you can't you don't know what you're doing with this and it's those things and those times where you gotta like you gotta knuckle down and push past that uh okay so another tip this is this is a learning experience you're not gonna know everything <laughs> i'm 100 days in and i still don't know half the things i think i should know um so that's uh, that's a lot of the 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 little hidden issues that come up you're gonna have to be honest with yourself as another oh, not point two but you got to be honest with yourself uh, you can't you can't lie to yourself you can't yeah this is it you can't lie to yourself um, the other one is how you feel is going to be what's shown in your art and there's going to be days where you're not going to like it you're not going to want to do it and it's going to come out and that's normal that's natural and remember in the beginning you're just you're sketching out your idea i mean it doesn't have to be a finished polished work on the first page give yourself some time uh no i guess that'll be another point <laughs> Uh, or a couple points in one uh, give yourself some time don't be hard on yourself uh, this is something that's going to take a lot of patience this is going to try you a lot because when's the last time you did 100 days uh, I can't even speak when's the last time you did anything 100 days in a row that you haven't ever done before uh, that actually takes some effort. I mean, you can't say, well, I'm gonna grow my hair long in 100 days. That's BS. <laughs> or fingernail. Well, fingernails might be a bad one because you have to do stuff with your hands. So that might be an actual challenge, but a kind of kind of grody one if you're a dude. <laughs> um, what would be a good analogy? Uh, I don't know. There's all kinds of stuff. But when was the last time you created something for 100 days that has a single focus? When's the last time you made 100 of something 100 days in a row? I mean, when's the last time you did something for 20 days? When's the last time you did something for 10 days? I mean, there's all these different things that take time. Um, and it does take some endurance it's not it's not cheap to say when when it gets too bad and you can't do it and you jump out that's not a failure that means you you got to a point where it you either you or yourself got to yourself or uh you know circumstances happen i mean that's life life that's the other thing you gotta let life happen you can't just say for 100 days i'm gonna do this and um oh crap uh this happened i mean you can work through it you can miss a couple days but like i said in uh previous videos is you know five minutes here five minutes there it doesn't have to be a masterpiece every single time even if you're just writing a script or doing something weird like that <laughs> well not that writing a script is weird but uh you're taking your time doing things like that so like i said you don't have to have masterpieces another one is uh, another tip is uh be loose with your style i mean I've noticed my style changed since the beginning I started this. Um, I still have some issues, but it's a lot different than when I first started. I mean, there's some things that I like from back then, but uh, it's your style is going to change. Whether it's how you uh, draw it, how you color it, how you ink it, or whatever. This is another thing that's going to help you. Is if you if you let yourself 
have that flexibility and not jump all over yourself because it doesn't look the same or it doesn't all match up or you know stuff like that you got to be flexible with that don't down yourself because of that um, you got to just move forward Let's see here's another tip have fun as much as you can have fun because life happens <laughs> there's gonna be stuff that's gonna sap away all your energy or uh, like with me my car broke down I was freaking out what I was gonna do luckily my brother stepped in and helped me out and that was awesome that was like a huge weight off my shoulder because I <laughs> I'm going check to check and I did not have you know a spare couple thousand dollars lying around uh, which was another thing too uh, and it's something that Kevin pointed out on his 10 tips. Uh, if, you, if you haven't seen it, you should check it out. Um, uh, maybe I can put a link on here. I'll try and put a link on here. I, I suck at doing that. <laughs> but um, even if it's a pencil and paper, do it on pencil and paper. Draw all your stuff out that way. I mean, I would like to have done something like that, but this was easier for me because it's on my phone <clears throat> everything is with me I don't have to go searching for wherever I put my notebook at or whatever uh, because I also have kids and they like to find my stuff and <laughs> scribble all over everything so this was uh, safer for me that's the other big key whatever you're doing save it if you're doing it on paper take a picture if you're doing it on computer save it and back it up if you're doing it on your phone if you can or tablets or whatever back it up and save it um, a couple times where <laughs> I thought I screwed up bad um, and I have missed a page or two here and there because I didn't save so that's the other one um, the other tip which is hugely beneficial to anybody doing this challenge don't be a hermit don't stay away from watching other people's videos don't be afraid that whatever they're doing is going to jump onto your stuff and you know then all of a sudden you're going to be copying them you know that's that's not a, a good thing to do you may not be able to physically talk with them you may not be able to physically have them look over your stuff handle it and, you know uh you know have like your best friend right there but the uh the people on, on these uh on the facebook thing Facebook thing, the Facebook page um, and uh, even on the hangouts if you get to the hangouts or even if you post your stuff on YouTube or wherever you can post it and people can comment and get to you um, that is valuable uh, I'm not talking about trolls who screw with you and say whatever I'm talking about people who uh, encourage you to go forward or uh, ask you questions and start to pick your brain because then you know that was the other thing too was I had this thing in my head of how I was going to do this and where it was going to go and all this other stuff and then somebody asked me uh, so can you explain to me what your comic book's about and I was like um uh <laughs> I didn't know what to say I, can't, I was like uh I stumbled my way through it and uh that was one of the things that uh, that suppressed me with a couple people is like they got their lines down pat for their book they know exactly what it is and I'm not saying you gotta be some uh, literary scholar uh, you know toast master person who can just you know be super eloquent with, with and descriptive of what your comic book is uh, because if I were to tell you mine right now I would stumble all over it and go um uh, all, all the way through it. Um, it would be good if I could just, you know, rattle it off like no problems, but I can't. That's something I have to work on even after these hundred days. Um, how was it in the seventies or eighties? I finally started saying, "Oh yeah, yeah, this is my book," and this is. Uh, <laughs> I try and do an elevator pitch. Uh, so anyways that's the other thing be comfortable with your book be comfortable with your story it don't it don't got it it doesn't have to be uh, Shakespeare 
just break it down to something simple. Like these guys are gonna fight this dude or this group of people and liberate the slaves or or you know something weird like that. You know, or this this is just a funny comic strip. Um, and then you just rattle off what your characters do. Simple. And then that takes a load of pressure off of you. And <laughs> I just exposed myself with that one. So anyways, uh, that's another one. Um, that's another good post. Or <laughs> good post. Um, yeah. It's just everyone in, in this hundreds group is there to help you. No one's there to steal your idea. No one's there to screw with it to, to make you mess up or make you look foolish. It doesn't help anybody to do that because this is such a small, well, I'm not going to say such a small group, not anymore, but um, this is like a s small localized um, topic for people to be on. So why would they want to mess with you? Why would they want to screw with you like that? That's, that makes no sense. That doesn't help them and it doesn't help you. So that's, uh, that's another big thing. Um, ask for help. Simple. Simple but hard. <laughs> uh, I found myself looking at people's videos and then I'll ask in the comments, hey, hey, what's this? How'd you do that? Or I'll ask, you know, like more like a pointed question. Hey, does, uh, like I asked this other guy, uh, very cool guy, which I forgot to mention in my little thing over there. Uh, a couple minutes back, uh, uh, Sam from Corporate Illustrations. I hope I said that right. <laughs> uh, and the dude's a solid guy, man. He, uh, he helped me out. I was asking questions because I kind of did the same thing he was doing. But he does it a lot better because he's got his line work down and all this other stuff for his borders. Um... But, uh, because I would see him drawing a sketchbook or, um, even Jake Parker. I tried to buy the same, uh, notebook he had. I started inking in it and, you know, like it goes to that whole thing. Well, he did it and my stuff doesn't look the same and I'm just going to quit. And that's what I did at first. <clears throat> um, because I couldn't get it to work. Um. And so I asked Sam about his stuff and he said that he uses another piece of paper or two because the ink bleeds through. And so I was trying to do it just straight and as I was coloring my stuff, it went all the way through. So I was like, this is not going to work. I'm going to ruin four or five pages with what I had. Um, so, uh, yeah, when you ask questions, you learn. So, I mean, that's what all this is about. Don't be afraid. I mean, like I said, don't be a hermit. Um, you'll get you'll get more stuff out of this if you if you're engaged with stuff like that. Even if you don't know what to, to ask, even if it sounds jacked up. When I type, I type jacked up because I'm trying to do it on my phone and my T9 sometimes or T9 uh, the autocorrect screws with it sometimes so i say or i'll type out some weird sentences and it's happened a couple times on on uh on a live stream with the art casters <laughs> and it comes out all weird where like i'm using present and past tense on some words within each other so it's like a, it's a hard read <laughs> so anyways it's just a little weird rambling thing but uh, I guess that's all the advice I can give because it sounds like I'm just repeating myself right now. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, uh, I think I'll keep posting daily videos for now. Um, I don't know about this whole <laughs> vlogging in April thing, but I guess a lot of people are doing that. So, what is that short term goal just to finish April and keep posting to see what happens? Nah, I don't know. I think I'll keep posting until I finish the, the page work. 
or the sketch or the uh, I can't even speak my uh, my layout storyboard whatever you want to call it until I finish that um, I know I need to make a PDF eventually um, so I gotta get into that so I have to get all my files and put it in right um, so I'll I'll do that before I put in my dialogue just because I want people to see what it's all about hopefully no I don't know I'll put some narration or something I'll put some notes in there so you guys can understand what's going on um, but I'll leave some stuff out to keep uh, keep you guys guessing um, but anyways uh, I think I will keep yeah, I, I will keep posting until I finish this. Um, maybe I won't call it the 100 Days Of or whatever anymore. I'll just call it uh, Making Comics with Apes Apian or something. I don't know. I'll come up with some kind of clever title. Um, uh, 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 I can't think of anything else more to say other than I am very grateful and extremely uh, humbled by a lot of people's comments, posts, um, subscriptions, uh, even though I can't really see that on my phone. Uh, and I don't know. I think I'm blown away by, by everything that's happened. I cannot even put it into words. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, I want to thank you all for watching. If I've missed your name, uh, send me an angry comment. <laughs> and I'll, I'll rectify it and maybe even add another addendum. I was going to have this whole big thing of this super long list of everyone who's commented and, uh, and helped me get to this point. So I want to thank you guys all for helping me get here because whether or not you realize it, you guys have helped me a lot. And um, uh, thank you all for uh, those who had come before me and the ones who will come after me. And uh, thank you all for whoever comments on this video. Um, but this is definitely not the last one, that's for sure. Uh, I hope to be making more stuff in the near future. Uh, and um, yeah, I hope you guys will come with me on that journey too. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for hearing my rambling and stuttering and all this other stuff. Thank you guys for everything. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.